So many of you are finishing up adding value to your objects. And I just want to remind you that you need to have foreground, so things in front, right? Middle ground, where things are overlapped or behind, and then background. And so for your backgrounds, you have some options. One would be just the cast shadows. So cast shadows are shadows that are projected onto other surfaces. Remember the object blocks the light. And so this shadow is casted onto another object. It could be the tabletop. It could be you know, another object like this cup creates a shadow on this, this picture. Most of the time when I'm shading cast shadows, I use horizontal lines in order to make those um, surfaces seem flat. But then sometimes too, they have to have contour to make the other surface seem 3D. So really focus on the direction of those cast shadows. Another thing that you'll wanna keep in mind for your background is I do want you to add the fabric. Now, if there's a bunch of like wrinkles, like it needs to be ironed, you can disregard those. But any of the big folds in the fabric, you will wanna put the highlights and shadows and midtones in for each of those um, pieces of fabric. Um, like this photo here in order to make this look 3D, but also so that the objects don't seem to be floating in space. The other thing you might want to consider in your background is maybe your background, like I have with these arrows that are pointed blue, are kind of distracting. So what you might not, not want to do is put all that detail behind the still life or any object. So like, let's say this object right here, it's like corn silk and another gourd. You know, that's part of another still life. So instead of drawing all of this and the wall and the clock, what you could do is maybe like this, you could do a gradation from light to dark. Sometimes leaving white will seem finished, but often it won't feel like it has a created um, a completed look. So please make sure to get um, advice from me if you don't know how to finish your work.